Today, uh, we're gonna go over uh, how to change a butt stock on the Akar uh, Churchill. Guys, welcome back to Pencil Guns and Ammo. After uh, requests on the channel, and anyways, I was gonna do it anyways, but uh, uh, some people were wondering, how do we change the buttstock on the Akar Churchill, uh, or the Akar 612 Torso, whichever it's called in your country. Uh, here we call it the Akar uh, in Canada. It's called, Canada, it's called the Akar, uh, the Akar Churchill Pump Shockwave uh, type shotgun. So it's a great little shotgun, very inexpensive. Um, probably tailored after a, um, you know, uh, Remington, uh, it looks like a bit of a Remington A70 clone. So, um, anyways, we'll go over, I'll change the buttstock and, uh, hopefully you guys uh, learn something from this channel. Uh, for you, for you guys and for YouTube, these are actually factory parts and I'll follow factory instruction to change the buttstock. This is by no means a modification to uh, the firearm. So it's a pre pretty simple process, guys. Uh, I'll show you what tool we need to do it. Uh, how to change it. it takes about uh, you know ten minutes if you know what to do. Uh, not 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 such a big deal. Okay, so what are the tools we're gonna need to change the butts to put this butt stuck instead of uh, this uh, little bird grip here? Um, so first, you're gonna need a square uh, screwdriver bit. I'm not sure what size, just a, a small one. That's gonna be for the the grip here. You're gonna need a fill up uh, screwdriver. That's to remove the two screws in the butt plate here. Um, also, you're gonna need uh, a, um, well, I'm using, you could use different thing, but basically you're gonna need a uh, um, Howland wrench, Howland head, sorry, uh, number six. And I'm using a, uh, uh, a driver ratchet uh, with the extension here so I can actually reach inside this butt plate. And I got a fixed one here. This one works actually better for, for the, the one in there. So, okay, without further ado, I'll switch the, the view. I'll make sure that we have a good uh, view on the shotgun as I'm doing, and I'll try to explain uh, how I'm going about removing the two butt stock and what, what do you need to do. All right, stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, as explained, I'm gonna start here by uh, I'm gonna start by removing make sure your weapon your weapon is safe um, and uh, I'm gonna start by removing uh, this butt plate here so first what you need I'm gonna take that um, square head uh, screwdriver and we're gonna go in and remove the little screw that's right You don't need to remove it all the way. The butt plate, once it's uh, once it's done, the butt plate, see, butt plate comes out, uh, the, the cap comes out, and you don't need to remove this. So we're gonna put it here so we don't lose it. Then, we're gonna look inside here. Well, you might not be able to see it. And there, there is the add-in um, long bolt in there. It looks something similar to this one here, but it is a bit short. I'm gonna take this uh, this one. I'm just gonna insert it in there, and then just unscrew. Yeah. I remove the pressure. Be careful, guys. Uh, especially with this. I don't know if it's true of all shotguns. Especially with this one. Um, this is uh, a very inexpensive shotgun. Be careful when you remove your your bolt. Um, or when you put it in, right? This is an inexpensive shotgun, and you got to be careful so to you don't damage your shred in here with the bolt, right? So otherwise, because then you, you might be, you might end up with a very expensive uh, paperwork, paperwork, or have to retread uh, the entire thing there. So just be, just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we have this butt stuck. We'll put this away. Now we're gonna take this one here. So with my Put my 
this and I'll take my Phillips head screwdriver. I'm gonna take this size and I like uh, find it better with a long a longer one because in here where you get those screws here is actually you need to get maybe like a, I don't know a few maybe a half an inch deep so you gotta get into the rubber to get to those screws. So let's go let's do that. Here you don't need to, to do it all. And this is how it would come from factory, by the way. This is, I put it back to a factory, right? So it comes with this one, this handle on, and this is the other one that comes in the package when I bought the gun. All right? So see, you can leave your screws in there because you're gonna have to put it back later. Um, now in this one, So in this comes the uh, the bolt is when you bite a gun the bolt is inside the butt stuff along with this apparatus here. So if you look in here, might not be able to see uh, on the camera because it looks pretty dark. But anyways, there's like the way the 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 stock is made, the way it's made here. This actually fits a certain way, and then you're able to put your so it goes like it's gonna go like this basically. And then your bolt comes through through it. Like that. This is how you're able to go in and reach this part. Okay. So what I like to do, just take the entire, the entire, uh, the entire. You just take the entire thing and you just let it slide in there. Like that. And see now, just like that. Uh, and see, just like that, it came. And here you can actually see the the thread of the bolt coming out. Another very important thing is if you look, if you look here, guys. There's like a round part, and if you look here, there's also a round, a round, a, a round of the edge here. So that thing, so that the round part of the bus stuff is actually gonna fit in here. Okay. And then you just screw it through, actually, pretty easy. So you just put it here, like so. Then you're gonna have to apply a little bit of pressure. Just apply a bit of pressure, so see, it's actually in. Then you're gonna take your wrench. This is the more trickier part where you must, this is the more trickier part where you gotta align it all so it goes in. As soon as it, if you were able to put the butt stuck round part in the receiving end of the receiver, um, you just, as you start screwing the the long bolt it kind of goes in fairly fairly good uh, so I find it's a good way to do this right so see it feeling some pressure it just went a little bit make sure that it's tight in there so we don't want to apply too much pressure because again inside you got plastic um, so you don't want to you could totally put too much force and damage your plastic part inside the buttstock. And same here, um, uh, aluminum frame or... Oh, I'm not sure what kind of metal they use in the ECR, but I can't imagine it being too uh, high grade of a steel. But you might strip your tread in the receiver. So just be careful, don't apply too much pressure. And then, just like that, um, you're, you just go around, make sure that... Just try it, make sure everything is good to go. Uh, this doesn't wiggle or anything. There's no gap, there's no uh, gap in between the receiver and the buttstock. So let's say this, let's say this is uh, pretty good. Then we'll just go ahead and put this back. If you look at the shape, it is wider at this end than it is at this end. So make sure that you don't uh, put it upside down when you put it back to the, when you attach it back to the butt. Again, be very careful when, when you put this back on, you don't want to strip the little plastic tread in the butt stuff. Um, because then you, because if you do, you're going to need a new butt. And you don't want to strip also, you don't want to strip the, uh, the little screw either. 
So just like that guy, so we went from the bird head grip to a standard stock. So that came with the, the shotgun. So that's pretty cool. It's a very easy process to do. I still be uh, very careful when you do it because again, I'll mention it again. You don't want to damage any of your parts as you're doing it. But really guys, it's a easy process. Uh, I guess you could and probably what I'll be doing. Um, I have some other Remington uh, parts here since this looks like it's a Remington clone and I'll uh, I'll try another buttstock I have here and I'll put another video on this later on but right now this is what it is so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video see this is pretty cool now um, nice little I'll go definitely go try this at the range and I'll put some uh, I'll probably do another video later date, but this is the Akar Churchill uh, standard buttstock. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, sub subscribe, comment. Um, thank you guys for your support. Check out my Patreon page. And uh, this is Penzer Guns and Animal. See you in the next one. Cheers. <clears throat> okay, so. Um, okay, so we're gonna go through, so welcome back to Panzer Guns and Ammo, guys. Uh, no, I have already done that. So today we're gonna go over um, so which tool are we gonna need? Okay. No. So like I said, um, so we're gonna change no okay. So what so what tool do we need to uh so what God wow on the Akar uh, Churchill Torso 612. Guys, 